Hey, welcome to New Start Discipleship. It is another day, and here we go. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for taking the time. I'm so excited about where you are and on your walk with the Lord and how God's helping you. Now, I know this. You're in a fight. You are in a fight, and you know it. You can feel it. Like, you can feel the enemy trying to creep up on you and fight against you. And in Ephesians chapter 6, we're going to read uh, today about a really, really important concept uh, Paul recognizes that you are in a battle, that you are in a fight. And so he says, he analogizes this, and he says, put on the whole armor of God. And he starts making this analogy of, of how the different pieces, the breastplate of righteousness and the helmet of salvation and the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit. I have an idea that Paul, Paul wrote this uh, when he was... Uh, he had been in prison so many different times, and and uh, some people say he may have been even chained to a Roman soldier. And he's like looking over at the soldier and like, right, it was, man, the spirit, the sword of the spirit, and the the, the breastplate of that's like righteousness, like our integrity that guards our vitals, and the shield of faith that we hold up. And anyway, uh, whether he was chained to a Roman soldier or not, here's here's what I would encourage you to to see. Paul knows that the will to win is important. But I, I, would, I would just give you a, a quote from a famous football coach here, all right? He said this. He said, the will to win doesn't mean anything if you don't have the will to prepare to win. All right, let me, let me just back up and say that one more time. He said, the will to win is worthless if you don't have the will to prepare to win. What's he saying? He's saying that, that what you do before the battle... What you do before the, the, the football game is important. you got to have the will to grind it out when there are no screaming fans and there is no battle on the field. The battle you win to prepare is just as important and maybe more important than the, battle, the will you have to win when the battle is already on. And that is really an important concept. That's what Paul's saying. He's saying if you want to win the battle, you've got to have the will to get ready for the battle. So put on the whole armor of God. So the shield of faith and the, the breastplate of righteousness, of your, your integrity, your, uh, your life of righteousness, and the righteousness of Christ that we have put on as, as Christians. And so you, you got to be, be willing to, to get ready to win. And then he says, having done everything to stand, stand. All right, you're gotten ready, you've done your diligence, and you've put on your armor, and it's strapped together tightly, and everything's held together with the belt of truth, you know, as he talks about. And so if you've gotten everything ready, then it's time for you to stand and fight. It's a good feeling when you know you've prepared, when you know you've gotten ready, and you know you're ready to, you're ready to take on whatever the, the devil has uh, for you. So if you're ready to fight, if you've, you know temptation's coming, so since you know it's coming, get ready. Pray all the time. He talks about be always praying uh, for all God's people. I want to notice one other thing. Right at the beginning of this, he talks about several different things, and he's kind of continuing his discussion from Ephesians 5 at the beginning of the passage. Um, and he talks about the Christian home. Children, obey your parents. Honor your father and mother. And then he talks about fathers not exasperating your children. I know I'm probably talking to some dads who are new believers, and I want to tell you that it's really important that you, with patience, learn to guide and direct your children. Bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Um, patient training, lots of conversations, lots of teaching, lots of faithfulness. Um, to, to teach your children is a big, big deal. You may not know it all and have it all figured out, but a faithful, patient training that rejoices in your children is better than a harsh, hardened, disciplinarian attitude that crushes their spirit and forces them to do what you want them to do. All right? So uh, have that, that, that kind of attitude, and then uh, just see what the Lord does as he, as he raises up your kids. Be patient with them. Be quick to apologize. Be quick to recognize when you're wrong, and, uh, and God's going to make uh, some great things happen uh, in your family and in your life. Uh, there's a lot more to talk about there. Uh, talk to your mentor about it, okay? And uh, spend, uh, spend some time uh, asking them questions about how they've raised their kids and what they've learned. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.